Hey, it's Lindsay from Heart Speak Health. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. I have my little tortie cat on my lap. There's always somebody with me. There's, there's either a baby, there could be a four-year-old, or there could be a cat at any given time. So there you go. <laughs> I am talking about post 26 from Heart Speak Health. And in post 26, I focus on three things that I did to increase my fertility. So before I talk about that, I just want to first say that um, something that women need to understand and to believe is that your fertility is fluid. It's always changing. And that's because depending on what you're eating, what you're doing, what you're drinking, what your stress level is, what your love life is like, that changes your fertility. So just like the weather changes every day, our fertility changes every day. It's not just like at this level and then just like stays the same. That's not how it works. It's always in motion. So that should give you hope because you have more power over your fertility than you could ever imagine. And my daughter, my second child, is proof of that. Because in 2014, actually, I didn't see the hormone specialist. It was um, February of 2015. When I saw a hormone specialist, she told me that I would never be able to have another child. She said, I had no sex hormones. I mean, I had, we had done like saliva and blood work saliva testing and blood work, and my cortisol was completely out of whack. I had no progesterone, which is the baby-making, baby-keeping pregnancy hormone. My, um, I was like estrogen dominant, and uh, I was completely out of whack. And she said, it's very unlikely that you would be able, excuse me, I'm sorry, that you would be able to get pregnant and hold that pregnancy on your own. You would need some type of an intervention. And that broke me, you know, that, that made me feel terrible. And I felt very helpless and very alone. And I was also confused because I had already had a child and I had no problem getting pregnant with him and he's healthy. And I thought, okay, well, you know, my labor and delivery was pretty bad with him, but, um, yeah, so, you know, things are maybe a little off, but I can't see that it's completely hopeless. And even knowing that my hormones were like zero, there was still this little light inside of me that just made me keep questioning the situation. Now, I did fall for some initial interventions, one of them being, you know, she was like, you just, you have to use progesterone cream, you're going to have to do that. And I did it for a few months, but the problem was it made me bleed and it gave me these side effects, which I was told was normal, but it made me feel sick to my stomach. And even though I was told those are just normal side effects, I just didn't feel right taking it. So I quit. And my health coach helped me to make that decision because he, he kept telling me, you have to follow your gut. You have to follow your intuition. So if that's not sitting right with you, then don't do it. So it took me a long time to buy into the fact that healing is simple. It's simple little things that we practice consistently. It's not complicated like the experts want you to believe. Now, sometimes things are, all right? And thank God that we have medicine and thank God that we have doctors and specialists because without them, we would be lost in a lot of ways, right? But however, on the, on the other side of that, there are a lot of women like me who are told, oh, you know what? You're in trouble. You know, you're, enter you're entering um, polycystic ovarian syndrome or you're, you're entering perimenopause you know, you're not going to be able to have any more children or you're not going to be able to get pregnant, period. A lot of times there are just simple things. There are little tweaks that we have to make to your diet, to your lifestyle, 
and um, to your stress level and to how you're managing your life and to what you're doing on your in your daily life. Those, you know, they're they're just there's usually some simple changes that need made. And then after those simple changes are made, the consistency has to be there. You have to stick to your plan and stick to your actions every day. And you have to believe in what you're doing. It took me many times of falling and failing and stopping and quitting and thinking this isn't working until finally things came together, started clicking. I felt fantastic. When I started to feel fantastic, then I knew that my body was was healing and I knew that things were coming together. And it wasn't long after that that I got pregnant. The good old-fashioned way, just going about my business with my husband and boom, there, there Celia was. So please don't give up hope. Read my post at heartspeakhealth.com slash blog And please comment or message me if you have any questions. And this is something that I will be sharing much more about. I'm really tied down with my kids and things are really busy and I'm trying to do as much as I can, but I'm going to be sharing a lot more in regard to fertility and babies and birth and all of that. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks and have a great day.